I work here at HQ uh, with Alexa and Savannah. I don't know if you guys want to say hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so this is the hat room. Um, it's also a backup office for uh, Savannah, but she'll be moving in for Alexa's because it's Alexa's last day. Um, and this is, yeah, these are the hats. This is the back stock. This is what we pull from when you guys make orders. So if you come back this way, this is Alexa's office. Um, she gets the bigger office because she needs to walk through into the warehouse um, to fulfill orders. And this will become Savannah's. So when we do custom gear, um, usually this is full of custom gear stuff. They go through to our QC process. And then we do all of our printing when we have the orders that come in over here. Um, yeah, so this is her hub. She's in and out of that door, and I'll show you more of that, what she's doing out there. Um, my messy room, which is not done. We moved in June, and we've been too busy to really finish. So I live in a little bit of chaos. And lots and lots of coffee. We got another big box under the counter. So we're always stocked with caffeine. We've got coffee and soda, except Coke Zero is not really technically great for it, but that's what Alexa drinks. Um, and then the warehouse. So <clears throat> when we set up this room, we wanted everything to be um, easy, like an easy flow to fill and get things done. So this is the packing station. Here's Alexa's door. So once she's done with the labels, we swing out here to the packing station. Everything can be pulled. It's pretty much set in a circle. So we have um, the new teak line here. There's teak being back there. <clears throat> and then the pants are all right here on this side so we literally can do a circle and come back to the table and pack. Everything gets packed and we usually have a bin here on wheels. Everything gets thrown in and it goes out for our UPS guy to pick up. <clears throat> so this area right now is a mess. Some of the stuff needs to be donated. Um, some of it needs to be gone through for other reasons. But all of these racks in the new year will be full of all of the custom gear. So that will have its own space um, to pull from. We'll probably set up a couple tables like we did over there and then we'll do all of the custom gear here. It's a little bit of a different process. Um, so to separate it and pull it from everything else and make things a little bit easier for fulfilling. So these are one of the new release flags. This is one of the new designs. This one is the USA. Before our flags were actually made of two pieces of fabric. And I'll show you what they look like. So you could literally feel sometimes they'd pull apart. So this is what the old one looked like. You had the black uh, rings and this was just more silky fabric on the back. So when this fluttered in the wind, some of the flags were ripping apart. Um, so what we ended up doing was going with a one lay layer and this is the nylon. <clears throat> And now it's got um, thicker binding on the sides that wraps around it and stainless steel hooks or eyes. And then on the back side, it's folded over. Um, it's a full inch that has four stitches to hold it in place. So you've got a double layer um, to hold up against the wind beating against the fabric. So just a better quality one layer so you don't have to worry about these pulling apart and then you don't have one side not miss not matching up with the other one. Our old Billfish USA large flag was similar in the two panels. It was also a little bit larger than this one so we made it slightly smaller. <clears throat> Just a little bit easier to hold for me to show but we did the same thing. It's got the wrap around binding on the side with the stainless steel and it's got the seam at the end. A little bit thicker and more stitching to hold it in place so that as the wear and tear from the wind hits it, it'll hold up better. So this is the loft. It's full of potential. We're very excited about what we will be doing with this space. Um, right now, as you can see, it's a overflow for a desk. We got a pub table and we have a treadmill, which we don't have much time to use. <laughs> but we have big plans for this space.
This is um, when you walk in, of course you see the hat so it doesn't look great, but we actually already bought the canvases for these walls. So we're gonna have all of the fish that people fish for, um, all of our billfish people fish for. Um, so we're gonna do a marlin, I don't know which one we're gonna do yet. Um, an ahi tuna, um, the sailfish, and we're gonna have big paintings of them, but like abstracty and in fun, funky colors, because this space is kind of drab. So we wanted to brighten the space up. Um, a lot of people who buy billfish know we love black and white. So we're actually gonna do black and white photos of our gear up in the loft area. But down here it'll be fun, funky, and colorful. So this wall, once we clean it, um, <laughs> it wasn't painted when we moved in. We're gonna do a timeline up the stairs and we're gonna start with photos of old school billfish when it started out of Leo's friend's bedroom and out of the storage unit. So we're gonna do photos mounted on plaques up the wall and do a timeline to show how we've progressed. So if we're going up, we're growing up. Uh, my name is Alexa. Uh, I was actually brought on to Billfish um, to specifically just do shipping um, by a friend who was the previous director of operations. Um, and from there, I kind of just took on more and created a real position as head of shipping and fulfillment for the company. The warehouse we previously were in um, was a very small, choppy warehouse. Um, it had no real flow, and we really just needed a bigger area to um, be able to create a like continuous flow of fur shipping and having all of our gear in one place. Um, so <clears throat> the process of moving was difficult. I mean, we moved 20 feet away from our old office, but because um, we had so much stuff and we wanted to do it in a way, like rebuild our warehouse in a way that made sense, um, it took a lot of planning. Um, Danae did a lot of the like layouts and floor plans and trying to figure out what would work best um, to make things better and easier for everyone. Um, so the new setup is very centralized, meaning everything is in one place. So we have our inventory, we have all of our um, like shipping and fulfillment supplies in one area. Um, it just makes it a lot easier and we don't have to be running around so much. Um, to like get everything in one place. Right now it works really well. Um, talk to me this time next year, things are probably gonna change. Um, with everything coming in down the pipeline, we will be running out of room in this warehouse here soon, but at least we aren't having to run to different warehouses at the moment. Um, and there are more spaces in this building for to, us to expand into. Like process that occurs after a person places an order on our online website is it comes to our like shipping hub um, so we go in we create a label that um, appropriately fits what's going to be in the box um, once that label is printed it also prints off a shipping label so the shipping label is what we look at to pull each item um, we come out into our warehouse and then we pull the items off the shelf we place them on our table to get packed um, either someone else or the same person will go back and recheck, so double check everything that was pulled before it's placed into the box to ensure that each customer is getting what they ordered, the correct quantities and the correct um, item. Then we pack it into a box, um, place it into a bin with the shipping label on it, and then it gets put uh, in our like front room with the hats for pickup by our UPS guy. biggest thing that I have learned is how to properly communicate with people. Um, my biggest job here at Billfish is directly communicating with clients and customers. So learning how to do that and um, learning how to answer their questions in an effective and appropriate way has definitely been something that I've learned the most. And then also just about the fishing community more. 
My build, uh, experience with Billfish has been fantastic and I don't think I ever would want to work for a different company with such amazing people and I think it's hard to find a company that um, is as close-knit of like a family as Billfish is. Everybody has worked together to create a really awesome company that is going to shoot off and be pretty amazing.